Hello everyone and welcome back to the walkthrough. A quick note on something here. You'd think that you would just be able to, you know, click right on 1-1 one, one to get back and save your grandpa in time, but no, it just doesn't work like that. Anyway, let's go to 4-2. And... Loads really slow. Okay, we're good. <laughs> Whee! A sliding segment. Whoa, 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 right at the beginning. Look out for imitation Gordo flavoring. Those things really are like Gordos from Kirby games because they're practically invulnerable. Or at least well, I think they're invulnerable actually. What am I saying practically for? Hey, wait, wait, wait. I remember there being something there and I need a guy to do that. That is kind of useless. <laughs> Although I did t take that one hit. Oh, the sliding level. This is a fun one. It is not only beautiful. But it is very fun. Whee! And okay, maybe by having a little too much fun here. Oh, that was awesome. This is, as you can tell, a pretty high speed level here, so prepare yourself to collect things as you go. Well, at least it's high speed up until a certain point. Then you go into this ridiculously awesome cave area. It's like crystally cave awesome sauce. I don't know how to describe it, but it is. Gorgeous, and oh no, I can't get that from this side, can I? No, I can't. But I will need the help of my ghostly friend. <sighs> Did not mean to do that. <laughs> to get in there, and pop goes the weasel. And these guys, I'm not really even gonna bother with, I think. Because it's like, what's the point? So, uh, although I guess they're kind of in the way. Because <laughs> I couldn't walk underneath them then. Um, oh, this is blocked off. I need to. Get rid of you. <laughs> you... Okay, you're horrendously in the way. Oh, dang it. <laughs> I'll just wait here. It's a lot safer. <laughs> I'm playing jump rope with those plant guys. Eh, yeah. Why did you do that? Why Why must you do this to me? Eh. And now I can hit the switch. Which strangely makes those pinkish crystals blow up. I don't know what the heck's behind them. Maybe dynamite or something, but there you go. Uh... uh and I'm going to just skip over the over them entirely. But that wouldn't have worked anyway, because I would have landed on the other plant guy. But that's okay. I'm just playing my reckless self through the level, and it's working just fine anyway. <laughs> I believe you can only pick up these guys when you're inside their fire ring. So be wary of that. Uh, double jump, yeah! I think there is a trapped villager in here, actually. If I'm... Oh yeah, there it is! Woohoo! A lot of extra lives and bonus and stuff in this level. <laughs> I guess this would be a good place to grind for lives if you uh, are fairly good at playing through this level. If you, for some reason, need to grind lives. Look at that! There's another one! <laughs> I mean, they're just everywhere! Um, oh, I definitely want to go off to that cave. Any place that's hard to get to is probably worth going to. <laughs> I'm going... Do I want to use... How do I want to get up there? I probably want to kill Plant Guy first, just so I can, you know, time myself a little better. You two, fine. <laughs> I think that reason why that one wouldn't come on, come to this side was because they kept bumping at each other. Yeah, there we go! What is in here? I forgot. A very, very small room. <laughs> And a very easy room at that. There we go. And I, I am just flying through this level. Perhaps I should slow it down or something. <laughs> I mean, seriously, this thing is going really, really quickly. I noticed in the, the last level, I was going through it very quickly as well. I don't know if I just like got the hang of this game again or something, or if the levels are a lot shorter than I remember them to be. And that's all the trapped villagers. Woo! Woo! Wait, I need the help of my birdie friend, and I'll collect those just because I can. And... Through here. I believe a boss is coming up shortly. Ah, we made it back home. And it looks like he's safe as well. All is well. Now I'll 
Oh dear. What is that? Harry Clonoa, get over there! I said, hurry, man, don't just stand there. There goes our house. Hopefully grandpa's okay. Looks like they got the moon pendant anyway. You'd think that would blow up with the house, but that just is not the case. Okay, he has proven to be a pretty good villain. Some sort of flying cobra thing. I have no idea. It's like a cross between a bunch of different critters. This is Balladium, and you just pick up an enemy and you fling it at him. But for some reason, I don't understand this. He sometimes does not take a hit from certain things. Or I should say, at certain times. I never understood why that was, but. Well, see, it worked that time, but the first time, it just, like, went right through him, and I hit him in the head of all places, and I would think that would hurt more than anything. Ah, I lost my buddy. This boss is not that hard, you just gotta be careful of what you're swinging into, and you have to throw whatever you're holding at him when you are passing by him. By the way, that pink one there, see that pink spire thingy of sorts? I'll be passing by it once again. If you throw an enemy at that, you'll get yourself a heart. But I'm not really even going to bother with that. I'm just going to focus on hitting him. Why? Why did that not hit him? Oh, dang it. <laughs> uh, when the bridge is moving back towards the camera and there's an obstacle, that is probably the time that you're going to take a hit the most of all places because of the fact that, you know, you're, you're going to be trying to dodge them through memorization and slightly blind movements. But otherwise, since you have so much health, this boss is not really that hard at all. <laughs> <laughs> and those are easy to dodge, as you can tell, and... Come on! <laughs> Maybe it has to do with his wing color or something like that. I I really don't know. <laughs> or wait, wait, wait. Maybe I'm supposed to be hitting the, the, the colored thing on his chest? Maybe that... Oh, that's probably it. <laughs> Maybe I was just derping all the other times I played this boss. Because I noticed that there was a different colored panel on his chest and yeah hold on grandpa hold on Klonoa I'm sorry I couldn't stop them from taking the pendant don't try to talk right now it's too late for me I know that. Did you talk to the chiefess? That's good. You're a brave boy. It seems the wheels 
of fate have begun to turn. We didn't have much time, but you made me very happy. My wonderful child of the wind. Grandpa! You must get the pendant back because Klonoa, that is your... Grandpa! You gotta save your strength! Sorry this happened, Grandpa. Grandpa! Well, Klonoa? I guess we didn't make it in time. She is a magical fish, after all. Get up on my back. Never underestimate the powers of a magical fish. See, I told you we'd be able to get up there. To the temple of the sun. And to avenge Grandpa. I hope you enjoyed this part, and I will see you in the next part. When we start, probably the most annoying stage in the game. I bet you're looking forward to that one. <laughs>